Hi everyone, in this video we're going to find the angle theta in this triangle here. So first thing always is we're going to label the sides. So let's start with the hypotenuse. That's the longest side, which is this one. Let's call it H for hypotenuse. Next, let's label this side here. We know it's 12 and I can see it's next to this angle we want to find. It's next to it, it is adjacent. So let's write down adjacent. And the goal is to find this angle. So we've got the adjacent, we've got the hypotenuse. We're gonna go back to our three ratios and we're gonna see which one has adjacent and hypotenuse. Oh, it was not that one. Adjacent and hypotenuse. Oh, there we go, cos. Now this function cos is short for cosine, but you can just call it cos if you want to. So cos theta, the angle equals adjacent over hypotenuse. So let's use this formula. We're going to put the numbers 12 and 20 into this fraction here. Let's write it down. Cos angle equals 12 over 20. And now to find the angle, we're going to use inverse of cos. Same as we did with sine, but it's going to be inverse cos. And we write it like this, cos with a little negative one. Sorry. Cos with a little negative one. And then in the brackets, we're going to write, what did it equal? It equaled 12 over 20. So you want the cos inverse function to work backwards on 12 over 20. So this negative one here represents going backwards in the function. So let's put it on our calculator. Inverse cos 12 over 20. Let's double check. I've got the negative one. I've got the negative one, 12 over 20, good. And there's the angle, 53.1 degrees. Therefore, our answer to the angle is 53.1 degrees. Let's just write it down. There we go, you have found the angle. Let's have a look at one more. Here's one I prepared earlier. Okay. Step one, notice it's a right angled triangle. We're gonna label the sides. This one's the hypotenuse, but we don't really care because there's no numbers there. So let's leave it out. Uh, this one is next to the angle. It is adjacent, adjacent. This one here, the 20 is opposite the angle, opposite this angle here, okay? So looking at our three formulas, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be tan. Okay, tan stands for tangent. So we're going to use the tan function today. So tan theta equals opposite divided by adjacent. Let's put the numbers in. Tan angle equals 20 divided by 25. Make sure we got them the right way round. Opposite is the numerator. Okay, now to find the angle, we use the inverse. This time it's inverse of tan. So we're going to use tan inverse and we put into it the answer number we had here. Because we're going to work backwards. Okay, let's go into the calculator. Inverse tan, so the opposite direction tan. We type 20 over 25. And your angle, therefore, is 38.7 degrees. There we go. Done. Now it's your turn.